He's been the lead announcer of SmackDown, Raw, and WWE as a whole. Michael Cole can be heard during some of the company's greatest moments. He's a trusted and familiar voice, and throughout his long tenure in wrestling, Cole has established numerous trademark phrases that he regularly repeats. We'll highlight them today as we list the top 10 Michael Cole catchphrases. Before we kick off the list, we'll cover a few honorable mentions. Cole was renowned for trying to convince us that The Undertaker's streak was all over, just before the Phenom managed to kick out. A wrestler's entrance music sets the tone for the character that's about to come out, something the announcers can further enhance with their commentary. Cole perfectly set the stage for Sheamus and the Brawling Brutes by shouting out it's fight night as they entered. It is fight night! It's fight night! It's fight night! Can I still say it? We don't need you anymore, sure. It's fight night! To cover up a botch or someone only making partial contact with their opponent, Cole and other commentators would know how the wrestler performing the move didn't get all of it. Cena going for the springboard stutter and he just barely caught him. Didn't get all of it. Cena, second row, springboard oh, stutter. Oh, Cena didn't get all of it. And it's Charlotte Flair with a moonsault. Didn't get all of it. It's become a meme at this point given how often it's said. Went for the oh, pro kick. I don't think Sheamus got all of it, John. Superman punch! Roman didn't get all of it, but I believe he got enough of it. There were also a number of times where Cole would be the one to butch. Elias now has dinner where he wants him into the drift away. Did you just call him dinner? That's gender. Oh. Batista is the women's champion. After 13 years, Bret Hart spits in the face of Montreal. to a distressed and panicked Stephanie McMahon, Triple H's husband. Quite honestly, I'm not very good at this part of it, so <laughs> I'm going to leave it to you, even though, I mean, a lot of people think you're not very good at it, so... Get on with it, Michael. Thanks, thanks. Before we begin, today's sponsor is Proton VPN, a high-speed open-source VPN service trusted by over 100 million people worldwide. With Proton VPN, you can protect your browsing activity access geoblock content and enjoy no bandwidth limits all while ensuring complete privacy because Proton does not log or share your data with third parties. Proton VPN's built-in ad blocker shields you from malware, ads and intrusive website trackers. You can connect to over 2,900 servers in 68 countries on all your devices so you're covered wherever you go. Upgrade to the paid version to get access to the highest speeds and premium features and there is currently a 57% discount in the two-year plan. All you have to do is go to the description down below and download Proton today. Number 10, you gotta be kidding me. Can you get it? You gotta be kidding me! You have gotta be kidding me! You gotta be kidding me is a go-to line for Cole when he's either surprised. What the? Oh my oh, god, are you kidding me? No! Are you gotta be kidding me! These guys ego Michael. You gotta be kidding me! I see it! I see the ghost! You gotta be kidding me! Big Daddy Cole Diesel! Are you kidding me? Oh. You gotta be kidding me! Oh, got a lot cooler on here. Carol being cool! Or when he's selling the importance of a shocking moment. What the hell is No! A Panamera Lawrence! What is. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? You gotta be kidding me! Hope he can't. You gotta be kidding me! Cole Saxton, all right. You gotta be kidding me. High five. Number nine, Number nine, through the table. Oh, this doesn't look good. Spike Dudley starts through a table. My God. Maybe he got a choke slam through a table. Oh, oh, oh. Through a table. Oh. Master Trippin' oh. through a table. Oh. And again, that again. Master Trippin' through oh. a table. Anytime a wrestler was put through a table, Cole was always on hand to state the fact in order to make the moment feel more impactful. Exploded through our table. Cena's got rage. Cena's got rage. Hey, hey, it's a 
Number eight, here comes the big dog. Here comes the big dog! Commentators are key when establishing a wrestler's nickname. In the case of the big dog, Roman Reigns, Cole got this moniker over by repeating it again and again. The big dog! The big dog! And here comes the big dog! Here comes the big dog! And here comes the big dog! 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 And here comes Red Hamilton, you are fired! Because here comes the big dog! Number seven, not this way. One of the times you could really feel the emotion in Cole's commentary was when a babyface was being screwed. He's a tank by Daniel Brown for no reason. And already over there, KO from behind. Not this way. Damn it, not this way. This would lead Michael to yell, not this way, as the wrestler was about to lose their match. Look out, Jericho. The soul drop kick. And now the boot by Tank. Not this way. No. After all that's transpired here, the kick. Number six, it's boss time. It's boss time! Whenever Sasha Banks made her entrance, fans were just waiting for Cole to say the line, it's boss time. What time is it? It's boss time. It's boss it's time. Boss exactly. Time. The phrase is a reference to Bruce Springsteen. but ended up working perfectly for Sasha. The catchphrase was a great way to establish Banks as the boss, while at the same time being a fun spot for Cole, to the point where it felt weird on the occasions Cole wasn't there to say it. Sammy's huge in box one. It's boss time! It's boss time! It's boss time! But it's boss time! Love it when you say that, Michael. Guess what, guys? It's boss time! Oh, thanks, Cole. Wait a minute! It's boss time! Number five, funniest calls. Cole was mostly the straight man on commentary during the initial part of his career with some funny stuff sprinkled in from time to time. Stone Cold, are you ready to enter hell next? Get on the line tonight. You would have to kiss Owen's backside if you lost it. Are you ready? Just what? You're fixing to kiss my ass. This isn't your traditional steel cage. You can get a finger caught in there. Seriously, what did he oh! What the hell? Come on, what are you, an idiot? But Michael started to show his true comedic talents after turning heel in 2010. <laughs> JR's barbecue sauce! It, it, it's slobber knocker good! On many occasions, completely burying the women's version of NXT. We're in the middle of a conversation, pal. The, the reason I said pudding is because one of the coal miners texts me and wants to know how many times I can use the word pudding in the show tonight. Boring. 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 Thank you. For, for those of you voting at home, start. please eliminate me from this broadcast. Riveting start to the show. Who won, by the way? This show is bad with or without you, but thank you for coming. Diva tag oh, it's been action. riveting so far. It has been Ray riveting. Cool. Dear what a Michael show it's been! Back. Riveting action! Yeah! Somehow, survive the hour, well, almost an hour. What do you think? Uh, I think this is the greatest night of my life. Yes, hey. I'm sure it will be a very technical, very sound, scientific matchup here tonight in our main event on NXT. You got Vicky Guerrero. Oh! A spear! Spear! A spear! 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 It was the damnedest spear I've ever seen. We'll take a look now at some of Cole's funniest calls and moments over the years. Rock bottom! Into the dog poop! Into the dog poop! The dog poop! The dog poop! A rock bottom! Into the dog poop! The octopus! 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 Tap out! Tap out! Tap out! Go to sleep! Do whatever you do! AJ wins! Where I said, John, I had 500 pounds of men on top of me. Oh my god, what a softball. Yeah! Oh! 
But, t but don't ask for this fight. He certainly got it. He I had uh, 500 pounds of men on top of me. You got to be kidding me. You guys let this kid get out of control. This kid is an absolute piece of Watch shit. Watch your mouth, Michael Cole. There's absolutely no way. You got to be oh. kidding me. I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. Top Dollar is a flippy, floppy competitor, Michael. Uh, he flops. I don't know about flips. All right, Cole, quickly take your pick. Who's winning this one? Uh, top Dollar. Why? Because he can't go over the top rope. Rey Mysterio not sucking off anybody. Jerry Lawler has bruised ribs, and he's also suffering from, from anal bleeding. What? The matchup that is presented by Jolly Rancher. Keep on sucking. What? Number four, can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? Cole was perhaps the most entertaining as a heel, where he acted as the spokesperson for the anonymous Raw General Manager. I have just received an email from the anonymous Raw General Manager. I've just received an email from the anonymous Raw General Manager on my iPad. During this time, he established catchphrases such as, can I have your attention, please? Can I have your attention, please? Oh, no. Can I have your attention, please? And I quote. And I quote. And I quote. And I quote. We knew you would. It was just what Cole needed to make the fans despise him that bit more. I've just received an email from the anonymous Raw General Manager. It's what helped him become one of the biggest heels in the company throughout 2010 and 2011. Can I have your attention, please? Yes! He's back! Cole took pride in reading the emails while annoying both wrestlers and fans. Anonymous Raw General Manager. Michael Cole, shut up! <laughs> it got Michael a lot of booze and led to some funny moments on screen. Can I have your attention, please? I just received an email from the Raw Anonymous General Manager. And I quote, I have received an email. And I quote, I have I just have received, received an email, email from the Raw Anonymous General Raw. Yeah. Michael Cole has a special moment every time he gets a sensual late night email from the guest manager of uh, Monday Night Raw. Number three, Vintage. The game, Triple H. Oh, sweet oh. champions, what in the world? Oh. You there, ladies and gentlemen, is vintage Shawn Michaels. If someone began to hit their signature or most popular moves, there was a good chance Cole would say vintage, followed by the wrestler's name. This was a good way to teach new viewers about a wrestler's trademark offense, while also being a vehicle to emphasize the most effective part of the competitor's arsenal. Oh. And ladies and gentlemen, that is vintage! Cody Rhodes, second generation superstar, runs into the vintage knee. Oh, and the vintage high knee. And wow! Vintage Randy Orton! Vintage Orton! Vintage Orton! And that's vintage Randy Orton. The phrase was made light of numerous times, which in turn led to some funny moments. I heard great quotes like, Oh my, vintage Michael Cole. <laughs> Give us four Irish whiskey. Vintage Finley! Don't you drink that. Vintage Puck! <laughs> Vintage Vinegar Church. will be the top condiment selling condiment. <laughs> Sorry, JR. Preach. Right here is, is, is Vintage Maxine, right here. It's Vintage Maxine. She's had like one match. It's Vintage. Truth right now. Oh. Right in the mush. Vintage our truth. Uh, now you're gonna start stealing my lines? Oh! You just got schooled by Vintage Cole! The catchphrase became quite recognizable, to where now if a wrestler hits some of their signature moves, many fans can't help but think of Cole's iconic line. This could do some damage, oh. yes! Vintage Undertaker! I had a feeling you'd say that. Man, you already used your Vintage Undertaker line. Trying to shake the cobwebs. Whoa! Oh my god! Vintage LA now. Number two, oh my. Oh my! Joey Styles had oh my god. Oh my god! Oh my god! JR had by god. Oh my god! My god! My god! My god! I don't believe it! King said oh my gosh. Oh my god! Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Booker T liked to say oh my goodness. Alberto Del Rio! Mr. Money in the Bank! My good 
active. But Michael Cole chose not to take the Lord's name in vain, resulting in one of Cole's most repeated and famous catchphrases. Cole, Chris hey, Oh My was heard most frequently when a wrestler made their return. Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Oh my! Cole couldn't get enough of saying this line. It was something he'd say a lot naturally before it eventually stuck, allowing him to recite it all the time. Batista! What the hell? Number one, best calls. Cole has provided the lyrics to countless epic moments throughout his career. When we think back to such occasions, we remember their significance. Meanwhile, Cole's tremendous commentary made these moments feel extra special. So let's now highlight some of Cole's greatest calls. Mankind has achieved this dream and the dream of everyone else who's been told you can't do it. A 500 pound super super class. Are on Friday. Oh, we got two legends that know how to finish people. Undertaker, sit up. Shawn Michaels, kip up. Believe it. Yeah. Yeah. He got him. Cena got him. Cena got him. Oh, my kick out again. The guy in front of Batista. The guy in front of Batista. Oh, he's out. The miracle can. A miracle on Bourbon Street. Rollins with the title. Rollins with the heist of the century. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to check out a similar video on the top 10 greatest ever ring announcers in wrestling. Have a great day, and I'll see you next time.